and welcome back. The playoff round on the Ray Nephew Jamaica Premier League will get underway on April 22, with the first leg matches involving teams who finished between third and sixth in the regular season. Denise Walters reports. Waterhouse, who got into the playoffs on the final day of the regular season with a 1-0 win over Harborview, will take on Tivoli Gardens, who went down 2-1 to Montego Bay United and surrendered second place and an automatic playoff spot. Both teams will face each other at 5 p.m. in the curtain raiser at Sabina Park. For Waterhouse's assistant coach, Damien Gordon, being back in the playoff round is all good and well, but he knows Tivoli Gardens are no pushovers. Last year we didn't make it because of some other things that we won't speak about now. But I mean, we're in the playoff. We just have to, we just have to get them together. Um, in terms of being focused and concentrating on at what is at hand, our objective have to be clear. And we have to be able to execute. Tivoli is a very, very difficult team to break down. So I mean, we just have to make sure we take our chances. Tivoli's head coach Jerome Waite is banking on having all his players injury free. We, we, we will have to take it one step at a time and the first thing we have to target now is how many you know players injured and try to get back everything, every, uh, all, the, all the players up and ready for this playoff and then we'll take it from there. Meanwhile, Portmore United who finished fourth will do battle with Arnett Gardens who finished fifth. Despite acknowledging the difficult task ahead, head coach of Arnett Xavier Gilbert is banking on his team going all the way. Um, that's our objective, see how far we can go, um, taking it one game at a time and um, next game is over two legs and we just want to manage those two legs and we just want to, to make sure we move to the next phase which is the semi-finals and then we we'll continue to take it game by game. It's going to be easy, it's going to be tough but um, we're going to prepare our best as best as possible for those games. However, Philip Williams is hoping his Portmore team can rediscover where the back of the net is as the goals have been drying up. We spoke about it um, um, before the game start, and uh, I think today was a, a game where we, we, we could have won. But um, in terms of conversion, as you said, um, it's still plaguing us. Um, we have been doing a lot of work, probably doing too much work. Uh, <laughs> we're still not able to convert the chances. The second encounter is set to kick off at 7.30 p.m. Denise Walters for TVJ Sports.